Oh boy, I got the red lights going on and everything. So today I thought it would be fun to do a quick holiday get ready with me daytime glam. I know, right? Not a lot of people do daytime glam looks, but today is the office holiday party. So I thought it'd be fun to take you with me and do a really beautiful, simple holiday look. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome to my channel. You guys, today is the proverbial office party for the holiday season. I haven't seen any of my coworkers or my supervisor or managers in quite some time. So I thought it'd be fun to do a beautiful daytime glam look. Nothing too over the top, nothing too crazy, but just to look really polished, skin looking fresh and beautiful, and maybe just a hint of shimmer and a pop of color. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I've been up since 5 a.m. I took Ava to the bus stop and I had to go to my yearly exam OBGYN. That is traumatizing enough. That sets the tone for the day, right? Feeling good, so I'm ready to get glam. And it's gonna be a mix of drugstore and high-end makeup. I want my skin to look really smooth and beautiful and fresh, so I'm just gonna start out with primer. And I'm gonna be going in with the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder. You guys, I got this during the Sephora holiday sale, and I can't put this stuff down. It has that ingredient Opsolite that really fills in your pores, but it's hydrating at the same time. Anything you put over it is gonna look super smooth, and you're gonna be poreless. Well, not poreless. Now, if you're new to my channel, I do have normal to dry skin. I have redness, fine lines, hyperpigmentation. And yes, I have pores. We all have pores. It just feels like silk on the skin. This is the mini size. I got it in a little gift pack with one of her blushes. Been so enjoying this. It is so beautiful. It's so blurring, so smoothing, and definitely enjoying it. If you haven't tried this primer yet and you have texture and you have pores, I highly recommend it. It's not even near close to the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This just goes on smoother, it's clear, so it just kind of melts into your skin but also creates a super smooth canvas. For foundation today, I'm gonna go in with a skin tint because I'm gonna be up close to a lot of my coworkers and I don't want them to see foundation. You know what I mean? So I'm going in with the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint. This is one of my all time, probably, yeah, this is my favorite skin tint to date. I'm in the shade 118. It just has this reflective, beautiful quality that bounces the light off your skin and it just makes your skin look so smooth. And the one caveat though, hello, I hate the medicine dropper. It's infused with a vitamin C derivative. So it's going to naturally brighten up the complexion over time. And I'm just placing a little bit on the back of my hand. And don't worry, I'm not wearing this sweater. <laughs> I'm not wearing this sweater to the party. Guess who was put in charge of the ugly sweater contest? That would be me. So I did pick out a holiday sweater that I will be wearing. And I kind of got it at the last minute. Usually I'm super excited about the holidays. I'll be honest with you, it's been a difficult year. And for those of you that don't know, my, my mom passed away back in July and it's been tough, you know, and this is the first Christmas that we're gonna be spending without her. So it, it makes, I'll admit, I'm a little depressed, but I think in one of my last Get Ready With Me's life update, I did start going to therapy and it's been helping me so, so much. Oh my gosh, I love my therapist, she is amazing. She's very patient. She's just, uh, I'm so grateful that I have the means to go to therapy because it has made a world of difference. And the only advice I could give to you, if you're thinking about going to therapy, it's only going to work if you want it to work, if you want to make those improvements. Oh, so, so pretty. Like I said, it just kind of bounces the light off your skin and it just creates a radiant complexion. And when you pair it with the Danessa Myricks primer, you're gonna get a super smooth complexion. Cause you're gonna be seeing people, well, I'm gonna be seeing people up close and I don't want them to go, oh yeah, I see every stitch of makeup on your face. So I want it to be as realistic as possible. I want it to be natural looking. And yes, you can have a natural holiday daytime glam look. 
Now for concealer, I'm just going in with my tried and true, the Tower 28 One Swipe Hydrating Concealer. You know how much I love this. It is just the perfect consistency, the perfect amount of coverage. It doesn't settle into your fine lines. I got a place a little bit right through there where I tend to get red. But this is a great concealer. I featured it in my drugstore versus high-end makeup and it tied. It totally tied with the Physician's Formula Butter Glow Concealer. This one just has a little bit more coverage. So we finally put up our Christmas tree. <laughs> we had so much fun picking it out on Sunday and it's a tall one. It's a super tall one and we decorated it and so far the cats have not destroyed it yet. But look at that concealer. Look how pretty it is. Ooh, the party's gonna be downtown at this really huge, I don't even know what it was before, but it's called the Southside Grill. And inside this restaurant, there is a bowling alley, like a pool hall, ping pong tables, a bar. It is like bi-level. Yeah, two floors, it is huge. We tend to go bowling during this holiday party. I don't know if I'm gonna be bowling. I may pull a muscle. Ah, we'll see what happens. It's so much fun. And like I said, it's so great to see a lot of my colleagues again. We all work from home. It was mandated back in 2020 when the pandemic started, but I had been working at home prior to the pandemic. So it was, you know, no big change for me, but I'm excited to see my friends from work. For bronzer, I'm just gonna be going in with the Revolution Ultra Creamy Bronzer. You know this is my go-to. It's very hydrating on the skin. This retails for about $8, and I'm in the shade Light. If you've been watching my channel, you know this is one of my all-time favorite bronzers. Drugstore, high-end, the whole kit and caboodle. I mean, you know, you know this bronzer is fantastic and it retails for $8, but I'll be sure to put all the products in the links listed down below. If you do click on those links, it does help out my channel a little bit. So if you click on it, thank you so much. I appreciate, appreciate it. What am I, British all of a sudden? I, I appreciate it. For blush today, I'm just gonna go in with the RMS Beauty Redimension Hydro Powder Blush. I have been loving this blush because it is a gel to powder formula and I picked up the shade Pomegranate Fizz. I mean, it's so pretty. It's so silky and creamy, but like I said, it's a gel to powder blush and it's got, I don't wanna scare you, it's got a wee bit of shimmer in it, but it doesn't show texture on your complexion. It is the weirdest thing. It's just, Fab, it's just fabulous. And I've been really enjoying RMS Beauty products. I kind of bought several of her products downtown at this really cute cosmetic store. I may go to that store today after the party because I want to check out some more of her products. But ah, oh, this is so luminous on the complexion and the staying power is fantastic. It's not going to fade. It's not going to move. It just stays beautiful and fresh all day long. And it's just absolutely stunning on the skin. I haven't been able to put down this blush. It makes me want to get more colors, but absolutely stunning. See how pretty that is? Woo, yes. And RMS is a clean beauty company. Just FYI, if you're into that. Now, for eyeshadow, I want something simple. I want something elegant, but not over the top. And today I'm gonna to be going in with the Natasha Denona Mini Starlet Eyeshadow Palette. It is a quintet. I thought I would go for something soft and pink, but not too crazy. So I washed my brushes. I'm super excited about that, but I'm just gonna go in with this middle shade right through here. And I'm gonna go into the crease and I'm using that as kind of like my transition, trans I'm gonna go in with this as my transition, I cannot talk, blah, transitional shade. But it's just such a beautiful, simple palette to work with. And of course, Natasha Denona is so well known for her formulas and I think this palette is super beginner friendly. Now on a smaller tapered brush, I think I wanna go in with this shade over here. We're gonna deepen up that crease. I mean, super easy. Like I said, not too over the top. That just looks so nice on the lids. I'm gonna go back into the first shade that we used and then back into the second shade that we used, 
kind of make like a little concoction and just run it under the lower lash line. Just smoke it out. Kind of like a daytime smoky look. Don't poke your eye out. So yeah, been a little sad about the holidays, but I have been listening to Christmas music. I know I posted on my community page, Vince Guaraldi's Charlie Brown. You guys, that music to me brings me back to my childhood and those warm, fuzzy feelings. And it just, it's so soothing to the soul. I just love that. I had the CD. I love watching the specials when it comes on television but it just brings me back to a simpler time to when, you know, I remember as a kid getting in front of the TV, eating popcorn with my mom and dad and watching the Charlie Brown special. It just evokes such wonderful memories. If you know that music, it transports you back into time and I absolutely love it. Let me know down in the comments if you loved watching the Charlie Brown series you know, like it's the great pumpkin Charlie Brown or the Thanksgiving special. Oh my gosh, just love it. Okay, now for the topper, told you it was gonna be easy. I'm just gonna go in with this shimmer shade and just plop it all over the lid, but I'm going in sparingly so it's not too glittery and just basically shearing it out so it's super subtle. I mean, I don't want glitter. I just want a little, like a highlight, if you will. I like using my fingertips with a shimmer because your fingertips naturally have oil on them. So it makes the shimmers adhere to the eyes way easier. I think that looks really good. And then back in with that packing brush and just kind of hitting that again, just so I have a little bit more definition on the outer thirds of my eye. Okay, three shades, three shades, baby. That's it. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a clean, fluffy brush and just blend it. Ooh, nice, like that. Super subtle, you got a little bit of the shimmer for that daytime glam. I think it looks amazing. Let's see if I can do this on camera. I'm gonna go ahead and tight line my upper waterline. This time I'm gonna be using the Essence Long Lasting Eyeliner. This is 18 hours waterproof. This is in the shade Hot Chocolate. And this is so easy to apply. It's very rich and creamy, but it is waterproof. And super easy to tight line. Oh, this is great. Let's see how easily that went on. Okay, and then just a little bit on the lower lash line and right through there. Okay, see, nice. Okay, we can't have a glam look without a subtle wing and we're gonna do it with my all time, my go-to, my go-to liquid eyeliner from Maybelline, the Hyper Easy Liquid Eyeliner Felt Tip Pen in the shade Pitch Brown. With brown, it's not gonna look as severe in the daylight. It just adds a little extra something to your lash line. So what I'm gonna do is, open it up first. I'm just gonna tap it and I'm gonna start right through there, almost to my tear duct. And this is such an easy eyeliner to use. And I'm just tapping it right across my lash line. I know a lot of us get nervous about using liquid eyeliner, but this pen is the easiest and I'm just tapping it across. Now instead, as I'm going out to the outer thirds of my eye, I'm gonna, not gonna follow it anymore. I'm not gonna follow my lash line. I'm going to go pretty much straight out like that. And then since I went straight out, I kinda wanna fill it in like a little triangle right through there. See how I have that tiny, tiny wing? And then take the tip and connect it. Simple, easy, super easy. So I'm gonna do the other eye.
Now this eye is more hooded than my right eye, so I have to make adjustments to it, but my wings never match. I'll be honest, they don't. So that's looking super, super good. I'm pleased with my wings today. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna go ahead and brush in a brow gel. And this is from Glossier, the boy brow. I'm just gonna brush a little bit of this brow gel into my brows. Now I've already, ooh, cat hair, drew in my eyebrows with the Rare Beauty eyebrow pencil. I've been really enjoying that. But just to put my brows in place, make them look a little fuller, a little thicker, I'm just gonna quickly put in this brow gel. It's not too stiff. It just really looks like you have brow hair. <laughs> now for mascara, same, same, same. City Beauty, Beyond Mascara. You guys, this is my, this has been my go-to mascara for the last several months. It is just a beautiful thickening formula. It lengthens your lashes, it volumizes them. There's no clumps, there's no smudging, no budging, no flaking, and it's actually good for your lashes. I know I mentioned it before, but it just re has really helped my lashes recently. But look how thick my lashes are and you only need one coat of this stuff. It is so thickening. Look at that, oh my gosh. And since I have like a little wing action going, I'm going to direct my lashes. Instead of straight up, I'm angling them towards that wing to get that cat eye effect. Ooh, perfect. We are looking good. Oh my gosh. Now, normally I would not powder under my under eyes, but I really want to have a smooth area right through here. And I don't want to put too much powder on there because it could look a little cakey, just a little bit. So chilling wonder, baby, chilling wonder. You guys, I can't, I can't put this down. This stuff is so good. That was not a cow. That was Hondo. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's we're getting real here. So I'm just gonna take a tiny bit on my brush of the Chilling Wonder from Hard Candy and just pressing it in. And then, oh, look how smooth that is. It doesn't look cakey. It's so finely milled. It's, it's beautiful. And a little bit right through there. I only wanna put it where I need smoothing. Okay, maybe right through there. I have a little, I put a little lip oil on this morning and it had a little bit of a red tint to it. So if you're wondering why my lips look so red this morning, that's why. I'm just going back over it with my beauty sponge. Now for lips, I'm gonna go in with a new product from RMS Beauty. It is their legendary serum lipstick. This is a serum lipstick, but also a stain. And I thought, how perfect would that be if it's a stain so I can comfortably eat and drink at the party and not worry about my lipstick wearing off or like looking funny towards the end. This is a beautiful formula. I've been testing it out recently and man oh man, it does not move, but it also is a bomb, so it's hydrating at the same time. I picked up the shade Ruby Moon. Ruby Moon is the name of her puppy, of her dog, and you know, come on. But it is one of those traditional red shades, and I figured, pop of color, baby. We need a little bit of pop of color to just make your skin pop, to make your lips pop, and I think red lipstick makes your teeth look whiter, so let's go ahead and apply it. And here we are with the final look. I've got my ugly Christmas sweater on. I think I'm ready for the contest. I don't think it's too ugly. I think it's super cute with a little cocktail right through here. But yeah, this is my finished look. I think it turned out really pretty. As you can see, the eyes are just super subtle, but they're still daytime glam. We just added a little bit of shimmer to make the eyes pop. And of course the complexion looks so beautiful, so skin-like. Like, remember, we're gonna be meeting up with my manager and we're gonna be like this close to each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my makeup so it can last all day and make all the powders just melt into my skin to make it look seamless. I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Now, you know I love this and a really fantastic dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury is the Milani Make It Last Original Setting Spray. 
The only caveat to this is that this one actually contains alcohol. This does not. So you're not going to run the risk of drying out your complexion. I noticed some weird dry patches on my skin yesterday. And I'm like, what the heck, man? But let's go ahead and finish up the look. I'm going to hold my hair back. Ah. And the smell is incredible. So I'm just going to let that settle onto my complexion. Let everything melt. Oh, I think I did pretty good. What do you think, guys? Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you've had fun. I know I did. And if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. I would love it if you'd be a part of our family. But for now, I got to go. I got to go. And I'm going to take you with me and show you some highlights. But for now, mwah. Mahalkita, I love you, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.